Here's the A10A UHF radio from the previous video. I'm going to do a little bit of dismantling so you can see what's going on. It's, it's reasonably easy to get a useful level of teardown on this. I've already loosened off all the control knobs. Most of them have a single grub screw fixing them on. And actually a couple of the larger ones have two screws holding them on. One more. That's all the knobs. And then I've loosened the screws from this cover plate. And you'll see underneath the markings on the rotary controls there's actually not much to be accessed from this top direction not easily anyway um, but pretty easy going from the other way so I'll, I'll show you the the reverse okay here's the panel the other way up the electrical connectors are still at the bottom edge. I've removed four screws from the four corners of the PCB and two screws towards the middle of the board. That's all that's holding this circuit board in. It's It uses some multi-way connectors to join this board to the to the other one so it comes off rather nicely as usual I wondered what was going to happen to begin with but you see very uh, very nicely joined together this board comes out so you see the back of the switches in fact other than the switches and that one connector I don't see much else in there there's some markings inside I'll show you those on the photos and then here's the electronics board so it's two boards sandwiched together with all the components on the inside faces I'll give you some photos of those as well And you see the connectors that join the two boards together and these posts that the screws go into. So this sits down and locates rather nicely onto the connectors on the bottom part. So yeah, it comes apart nice and easy as you might expect. I will show the photos straight after this video with a little more detail. By the time um, I get the slot back together, the video will probably be ready to upload. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.